Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is a hair update, as you'll have seen from the title of the video. All right, hey there. So this is a hair update and I don't know really what to talk about. I guess I was just gonna come on and let you know how my hair's going and what's happening. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so it's been around about a month since I cut my hair, since I shaved it. And um, I think I put my why I transitioned or the transitioning thing into a video and that was on the 1st of November. I'm just looking, the reason why I've got a really shiny nose, I'm gonna do a little shout out to Shan on Instagram who sent me this in the Look Fantastic box and I've just been playing with it. Look at that. I'm in love with it, thank you very much. You're a gem for sending it to me and other little goodies, I've popped it on my Instagram. If anyone wants to go and follow me on my Instagram, by the way, I am Lightning Lass, go and find me. Oh, and I have a special one for my hair updates, which I won't clog my Lightning Lass Instagram, and it's Lightning Grey 37. So if you wanna go over and have a look at that, that'd be fabulous, I post every week at least, sometimes daily, on my hair updates for the grey. Okay, so let's get cracking into the video. The reason why I shaved my hair one month ago, around about that time, I think we're just, um, I think it's just almost a day till we're a month. The reason why I shaved it was to transition to my natural color gray. And I am doing it, I'm starting it, I'm on the journey. It seems to be taking forever. It's the slowest thing in the world, but can you see, it's there, <laughs> but it's just like, it's so long. I don't think, in my original video, I didn't think I completely explained myself properly on why I was doing it and why I shaved my hair. I maybe did, but the reason why, and the major reason why, was if I had left my hair long, I think I would have given up on the process because I would have found it hard to have my hair white with black. It's just something personal to me. Now, I have made many friends on Instagram and on YouTube with girls who are transitioning to grey hair. And let me tell you this, everybody does it differently, every single person. And there's just some people who are doing it with the grey coming through and the long hair. And then like one girl who um, is on Instagram and I just love her to bits. And she commented on mine saying, you're so brave for shaving your hair. And I said back to her, no, you're so brave for leaving it long. Because everybody has that whole thing of, like she thinks that shaving your hair is really hard but I think that leaving it long and having the grey would be hard for me. So we're all different on our journeys and how we're gonna to get to the end stage of grey hair. Now, you can see, I'm gonna show you. So this is the, it's been four weeks since I've dyed my hair. <laughs> so this is it, look, right, okay. I'll put the ring light off and see if you can see that. So that's the biggest bit that I have at the moment. I think I might have a streak, to be honest with you. Right, so I put the ring light back on, okay? And this is how it looks in the middle sections. So I'll just let you see. All right, so I think that might be a white bit around deep bit here and around about here, not so much. There doesn't seem to be as much gray around here, I don't think. Um, I think I'm gonna be patchy, to be honest. Right, so the sides of my hair look like so. So that is the big patch that I have around about there. And that is what I missed originally when I dye my hair. I always miss sections. I don't know if you're the same, so I'll dye it. And then suddenly I'll be like, put my hair in a ponytail and there's all the grey. And I think, oh great, missed it. So I do it all the time. Right, so this is this section here. So I don't know if you can see it. I can't see what I'm showing you there, but when I'm editing it, I'll take it out if it's rubbish. But that is the color that I've got at the sides. So I'm really quite gray, but all of this bit here is still dyed hair. So if you look there, so all of that from there to there is black dye. And obviously this is my natural hair coming through, which is the gray. We don't have more at the temples and we don't have more around about here. So I guess for four weeks worth of growth, it's quite good in the grey, the grey realms. <laughs> now, my hair 
that isn't four weeks worth of growth for my actual hair because I shaved it again a couple of weeks later. Um, if you go on to Lightning Grey 37, it's in the highlight section and you'll see my hair when I first done it and then when I shaved it again, which was a couple of weeks later. So this is a couple of weeks growth really um, to the previous one. So if I had left it, it would have been a lot longer than this even now. So yeah. I think that's about it really on the growth part of my grey, what you can see now, what's coming through. My husband has said a few times when I'm walking and he's been watching me, he's been like, gosh, you look bald. <laughs> because of these sections where the white, it just looks like it's bald. And that's a really annoying thing. So I'll be glad when this black dye comes off it. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to work with that at the moment, whether I just let it go and then shave it again. Or whether I am going to do a little bit of taking the colour out. So I had a message on my YouTube video a few weeks ago, or last week I think it was, saying why don't you strip your hair. Kimberly Anon, I think you said the same. Why don't you strip the colour out of your hair and then that's it gone and you don't need to shave continually. And that might be something I might do as it gets a little bit longer. 100% might do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm thinking all these thoughts. Another thing that really bugs me is when I'm doing my videos and I look, I look bald. <laughs> look at that. And I'm not bald, honestly. My hair's really thick now. It comes back really thick. But it's just when it's looking through there. And I don't know if that's the white at the bottom. I'm not sure. Or just the ring light. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, less so there. And so if you look there, you can see the white now. <gasps> oh, can you see it better now? tiny bits better oh look 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 yeah you never believe i'm as gray as that right okay right so that is it for my growth for the gray hair coming through um how i've been feeling with my short hair a little bit about that i have been feeling okay I'm really getting used to it now. When I first done it, obviously I did brave the shave two years ago, so I'm kind of used to having a buzz cut and people around me are used to having this short hair. My children don't know us. They think I'm gorgeous, as Eddie tells me all the time. So they don't care. But you do have a lot of people who are staring and thinking, oh gosh, what's happened? And rightly so, because they're thinking, well, why has she got such short hair? Um, and that's fair enough. But once they get over that initial thing, I've noticed that nobody really looks anymore because it's just short hair. I've got friends who've got shorter hair than this and they rock it. But obviously I am used to having longer hair and I like longer hair. And people who know me, I have longer hair. So this is a bit of a shock for people when they first see it. Which is fair enough. <laughs> but um, I've been feeling okay. I've been getting used to it. When I first done it, I had to wear a hat. And I gradually just weaned myself off the hat. And now I leave the hat at home, I don't wear it as much. I still do get a little bit iffy if I'm going somewhere and everyone's looking really glamorous. So everyone who knows me knows I have a best friend called Jackie, who's the most glamorous girl in the world. Looks absolutely gorgeous. And she was there with her luscious locks. And I had this and I wasn't feeling as confident. And that's okay. Because sometimes you just don't feel as confident sometimes. But you've got to try and find the inner strength to just say, well, I'm going to rock this. This is the look that I have. I'm going to go for it. So I have found that I have found another focus as well. So because I've cut my hair, I've been wanting to feminise up. So I've been buying girly clothes all over the shop. Now, that is obviously just a personal thing to me. It's definitely not a generalised view. You might be out there with a short haircut, not wanting to feminise anything. And that is cool. But just for my personal opinion, this is what I felt for me. So I've been wanting to put on loads of earrings. Always wearing a wing. I don't know why. Buying feminine girly dresses. And it just makes me feel uber glamorous and lovely. And I have really focused on my weight loss. I have been on my diet for a while now. And I've been really serious, really good. And I think the hair played a part. I don't know why I think that's crazy. But it's like you shed something and then you focus on other things. And I really don't like my hair like this when I'm bigger. I like it when I'm thinner. So I think if I was thinner, I'd keep my hair like this for as long as possible because I really, really like it on a thinner frame. Just a personal opinion completely. So um, yeah, I have been focusing on my diet. I've been feeling really, really positive and really, really um, energised for it. And I would say that that's helped me. Um, obviously, once I got over the shock of living with it, when I cut it the second time and it was really, really short, that was not for me 
definitely not for me. This is more of a style that's for me. I like it, I feel like I can handle it and it's good. I'm going away in December and for these kind of things I do get a little bit of anxiety and people who may be watching, some people who are not attached to their hair might be thinking, well that's crazy. But if you are attached to your hair, you, I put stock in my hair and so I'm doing it. When I'm going out somewhere I'll have it really nice and I'll be thinking how I'm going to style it. So when you don't have it and you're up again and you maybe meet people who have got it, it is an anxiety feeling, <laughs> but once you get through it, you just ride on through that, so that's fine. So yeah, that is how my growth has been going, that's how the length has been going, that has been my feelings on having a shaved head and how I've been doing for the first month, feeling really positive and great now and just just plodding on forward. I, You definitely do have periods of feelings where you're thinking, I can't do this, it's going to look so, I'm going to look old. And that is definitely something that goes through your head. And I have been on Instagram and on YouTube with loads of other girls now. It is a very common thread where you have those days where you think, can I do this? And I have had this urge to go and dye my hair. But I am not going to. I have um, challenged myself to a year dye free. And that will be the case. So I did this on the 28th of October. Started it. And it will be 28th of October next year before I even consider if I want to die again. And that is going through a few hurdling blocks as well because that's going through Christmas and lots of nights out. It's going through July when I go to Blackpool for my Elvis weekend, which will be the hardest thing in the world. So yeah, stick with me through that because I'll need a lot of support. And um, yeah, that's it. So that is kind of my update at the moment. I haven't been using any special shampoos or anything yet because I'm just trying to get rid of that dye. So I can't let you know about anything that I've been doing to look after my hair. I will say that having a short haircut is fabulous for the drying process. You don't need to wait long, it's dry. You don't need to wash your hair as often as before. And it's a little bit more relaxing. I can use a bit more bath bombs I've found is nice I can have relaxing bath sometimes and um yeah in the morning from the school run it's so much easier it's this hat on we're done because it's very chilly when it's not so chilly I don't wear my hat I just go free with my hair like this <laughs> with the bald patches but they aren't bald it's just grey honestly right okay I'm gonna go on this was just a super duper chatty update video a month in review and before I forget it was the 21st of November 2016 when I did Brave the Shave last time. So that's two years ago. And I never thought two years ago, two years on, I would have a shaved head again because it was a big shock to the system at the time. So I'm really proud of myself that I went for it again and that I've stuck to something and that I'm gonna really go for it. But obviously this is a personal thing for me and I understand that some people might not want to do that kind of transition and that is so cool because like, I've said before in my last video, my sister Jackie, my sister-in-law Jackie, would never shave her head. So it's just each to their own, isn't it? And each to their own personal journey and what they want to do with their hair. And as I say, hair grows and it has grown back already. And if I can do it for the year, I'll be chuffed to beans. And if you want to stay with me and join me on this journey, then I'm going to post monthly and let you know on an update every month. So around about this time in December, I will post another update, chatty video like this, letting you know how I've been getting on, if I've been using products, if we've got rid of this dye. So if you're interested in it, then click on the subscribe button and join me on this for the next year. That would be awesome. As I get more gray, I will put in more videos because I really do hope to look after my hair. And um, I want to do some grey hair tags and I want to get involved with the grey hair movement because there's lots of girls on Instagram and on YouTube who are amazing and I absolutely love them. Rhiannon G, Nicole Johnson, there's just some amazing girls out there who I absolutely love and watch all the time. So yeah, come and join me for this. Uh, and I post other things. If you're here just for hair, then I post other things like beauty and stuff, but there will always be a hair update once a month. All right. Take care, see you later, and I will see you on another video. Bye. To my channel, Hello. comment below, like the bell button, thumbs up. Thank you.